Hey hello welcome back to my youtube channel it's Ranjan and in this video I will talk about machine learning in cyber security and by considering this as a whole project I will cover this topic in two to three videos so and now these days cyber security is becoming important domain in which machine learning and data science is getting extensively used if you're watching this video I am assuming that you are well versed with data science and machine learning terms and if you're not aware about machine learning or data science check out this video so in this series I will talk about introduction to cyber security why we need machine learning in cyber security and what are the challenges that we faced in machine learning in cyber security and how network device behaves and what is CIA and what we have to protect from the threats and attacks what are the types and phases of attacks stages of attacks and once we have completed the theory then we will explore our data set using Python libraries by exploring we will detect which type of attack it is and how many ports which all the ports are more vulnerable to the attack and threats and which device is more vulnerable to attack and after that we will develop our model which will detect which type of attack it is so first thing what is cyber security it is a combination of two terms cyber plus security so cyber is a term which is getting collectively used for group of computers in network or information technology IT these all the things called as cyber and security means we have to secure that network from the attacks and now these days everything is becoming smart smart is everywhere if you talk about smart washers, smart toilets, smart bicycle, smart bulb, smart assistant, Alexa, OK Google, smart lamp posts, smart shower, smart blender, smart mobile, smart AC, even in the AC the Wi-Fi is coming in built, smart electric meters, so everything is smart nowadays. So all these devices behave like a network device because they are connected to internet by using IP address. So that means they are exposed to outside world. It is exposed to internet. So we have to create an environment of cyber security so that these devices are secure. And this is also one of the main challenge because we have lot of things which are connected to internet and we call these things as IoT, Internet of Things. So next is why we need machine learning in cyber security because earlier we were performing cyber security without machine learning we have so many devices so why we need machine learning now so first of all number of attacks are getting increases day by day you, you must be seeing the news maze ransomware earlier was wanna cry Patia ransomware there are so many ransomware so to detect these types of attack we need some strong measures which, which we can perform using machine learning and now these days cyber crime is on sale from ransomware to DDoS attacks professional cyber criminals are selling these customized hacking as a service and they are victimizing more consumers they were doing at large scale they were selling the software now every device is generating logs so we have getting more network logs and which is very difficult to analyze it manually we have IPS and IDS which is intrusion prevention system and intrusion detection system so basically intrusion is the attack so we have these devices which used to prevent and detect these attacks but they are mostly pattern based devices it is kind of supervised learning because in these devices we have the output already so what we mean by pattern based devices in these pattern based devices we have the output so we must have the attack already seen by the device if that device has already seen that attack it will store in its database whenever a new packet comes it will compare new packet with the previous packet if it look like to the previous packet which was attacked so it will classify the new packet as attack but if it is zero day attack it won't be able to detect because that pattern is not saved in the IPS IDS so we will detect these type of attack by using anomaly detection in machine learning in cyber security we are getting more sophisticated attacks attackers are playing very smart they are hiding their IP address they are pretending they are inside from your network so they are using quantum computing and I have already explained there are more and more IoT devices so we have many IoT devices so we have to keep them secure and to detect zero day attacks because we are not able to detect zero attacks by using IDS and IPS system and we have the big data we have to secure our data because data is information and information we have to keep secure to secure the data we need cyber security so we will perform cyber security by using machine learning so what are the difficulties that we are facing in dealing with the intrusions 
so now these days what attackers are doing they are basically hiding themselves by the individuals who are monitoring the system and they are hiding themselves from the ids intrusion detection system and how they are doing they are just covering their tracks if they are already entered in our network they are editing system logs and they are covering their track or they are doing reset on the modification date on a file so that we cannot be able to see when this file got changed and our signature based ids cannot detect because these are zero day attacks so these attacks can only be detected by using machine learning we have the anomaly detection in machine learning so by using this we can detect zero day attack and we can detect zero day attacks by using number of methods we have the statistical methods expert system clustering neural networks deep learning support vector machines so basically in ids and ips we have two types so first is signature based and other is anomaly detection so this is the traditional that we are using from last decade and this is anomaly detection that we think apply in machine learning so in signature based it is based on the existing knowledge of the patterns that our devices have already seen these types of attacks so it will generate a some pattern and whenever a new packet comes it will try to compare that pattern with the new packet which and it could be provided by the human experts or by the technological experts so it is just a pattern matching they will just match a signature with the signature of a attack packet with the new packet so it will enable to detect the new attacks or the unanticipated attacks or the zero day attacks and each and every time we have to update our signature database frequently routinely we have to update our database and in this it is based on the finding matches to the profile that represent the normal behavior of the users host or the network it will detect attacks as a anomaly if the traffic is behaving very weird behaving very differently so it will detect that it could be a, some issue it could be attack so it is very potentially able to recognize unforeseen attacks but in this we have a highly false positive in this we have number of methods like statistical methods a neural network clustering we can use a number of things now we have some very known attacks in cyber security so first is sexting it's a term given to the act of sending some inappropriate images or video to your friends or anyone and they are misusing it or in between someone picked up those pics and they are just misusing it why should share an image with someone else it's difficult to control what happens to it because because you are not aware what they are doing and who who is in between and second is we have social engineering it's a broad term it's a range of malicious activity accomplished through a human interaction in social engineering it uses psychological manipulation to trick users into making security mistakes or giving away sensitive information so we have farming it's a cyber security attack which is intended to redirect the website traffic to another fake website suppose you are you are trying to open a sbi.com but your website is redirecting to some another fake website which is exactly looking at sbi.com website and this thing farming can be conducted either by changing the host file on your computer or by exploitation of vulnerability in the dns server software and third is wishing so wishing is very new it's a voice phishing it's mostly happens in finance or banking attacks so it uses social engineering over the telephone system to gain access your private or financial information for the purpose of financial reward or this phishing it's very common it's a like it's attempt to, to obtain sensitive information such as usernames and passwords and credit card details by pretending oneself as a trustworthy entity in electronic communication suppose they are sending you some email that your account is locked uh, to unlock this please click that link and enter your username and password once you enter your username and password that details basically going to them and sixth is smishing so smishing is sms phishing it is also a new term which is very common now these days it's a form of criminal activity using social engineering techniques so smishing is when someone tries to trick you into giving them your private information via text or any a message it is becoming an emerging and growing threat in the world of online security it's involved with text messages so basically it it is more like phishing but in smishing it involves text message in a sms or a phone number now these days uh, more most people are aware about the security risk involved with clicking on the link in the emails that is phishing but this is less true when it comes to text messages generally people trust a text message rather than a email so these are the basic types of the cyber attack by using this attacker can get enter into the network or into your device so 
as of now we are facing some challenges to apply machine learning in cyber security we are getting through these challenges first of all lack of labeled sample because we have so many zero day attacks so we have not knowledge of these attacks so they are unlabeled so if we have lack of labeled sample so we cannot provide supervised learning we don't know about whether it's, it's an attack or not there is so much certainty and we have a large data size because the logs are in KB and MB every second it is generating 100 to 1000 to lakhs logs and dimensionality there are so many terms in the network security in the cyber security there are so many protocols so they have the high dimension they have the large features and uh, skewed class distribution because uh, if you will see like we have one lakh of logs in our network device in that one lakh we basically would have 10 to 15 logs which are leading to an attack so it's a imbalanced data set and data pre-processing so there's a lot more thing that we have to apply on the data set to convert into a format on which we can apply analysis and second we need high performance computing resource because it's a need we have to apply machine learning online while in the real production it should be scalable and it should distributed intrusion detection because one device will won't be able to serve all the traffic requests so we need high high performance computing resources so these are the challenges that we will face in the machine learning and cyber security and I will give you brief how network device behaves how what is network device so as I already explained all IOT devices which are connected to Wi-Fi or the network or the wired network all are called as a network device I will compare this analogy with a an simple analogy so this is a home and this behaves like a network device as we have home in home we have doors windows same case it with network device in network device we have ports as in home we have doors and windows in network device we have ports we have two kinds of port one is TCP and one is UDP in TCP we have this many ports and in UDP we have this many ports so in total we have 1,31,070 ports these ports specify that these are the open entries by which we can enter into any network device so that means we have 1,31,000 ways to enter in any network device so we need two things first is port and second is IP address so IP addresses generally look like this we have four terms separating by a dot in between so it starts from 1.0.1 and it goes up to 254.255.255.254 it is divided into some classes a b c d e I'm not going deep into this so basically we need IP address and the ports to enter into any network device and in this series we will talk about only TCP so there's a difference between TCP and UDP so we will not talk about UDP as of now we will talk about TCP because most of the attacks are related to the TCP so in this video we have covered what is cyber security and why we need machine learning and what are the challenges that we are facing and how network device behaves so that's all in this particular video in the next video I will cover CIA what is CIA and what are the types and phases of attack what are the stages of the attack so stay tuned please like this video and do share with your colleagues and friends so see you all in the next video till then goodbye enjoy happy learning